Multi viewers request the Doria and Darker story. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing and hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. I've got the amazing uh, Australian made um, investigation deck on the table and this would be the reading that will cross over from my true crime tarot because of the kind of people that we're reading about and the reason why I'm saying that is because I have done many readings on both these characters and yeah a bit shady to say the least so allegedly entertainment purposes only cards whoops <laughs> heavy burden carried okay and we're off to a start all right okay sorry my hands are a little bit cold it is in the middle of winter at the moment and this is a very very large deck um so just bear with me they're not playing up they're not the bad boys for those who who follow um these are uh, a cross from uh, oracle and incorporated in tarot and i do use these for true crime um, I'm not insinuating anything about these two, Darkus and Doria, but there is a reason why I call him Darkus. Um, the, or, oh, and her, to be perfectly honest, because of all the other previous readings I've done. Yeah. Let's just, let's just run with getting some energies on these cards because they have never read on these two. Um, for all my deck hasn't anyway, of course. Um, every card's decks are different depending on tarot readers, but my, this deck has not read on these two. Um, so let's just go very, very quickly, um, through, uh, Darkus and Markle met in Canada around about 2011 he was a waiter for Soho House now I do believe he's a director or you know someone high up um, in in that industry um, it was him I do believe that they met uh, he arranged the meeting um, so yeah don't worry about that BBC engagement thing um, I think the BBC reporter has already debunked that anyway. And uh, I have had quite a few um, uh, subscribers asking about where Doria is too because, you know, she pops up and then we never see her. But at one stage she was, uh, uh, there was three there too. Um, I have also had a few... Uh, other decks confirming that Marcus also lives there. Uh, so let's just call him Darkus. And cards, what we would like to know is the story behind these two. Um, as, yeah. All right. As spoken. Okay, so we've got the magician. We've got a dark ritual. Well, wow. Why does that not surprise me at all? We've got resistance, though process, a uh, slow process. Mm -hmm. Resistance or resilience? Sorry, I do actually have to keep these um, as resilience. Sorry, a slow process, yeah. Resistance. This reminds me of the ball cream. For those who watch uh, Star Trek, uh, this reminds me of the ball cream uh, card, ironically. Uh, resistance is futile. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Getting off the beaten track. Uh, check the timing. Mm, okay. All right. Think about it differently. Yes, this is, this is why I'm using these cards. And it was an accident. Mm, okay. So how I get this, and we are reading generally about both of them because they are both very, very much her entourage and she's incorporated them into his. Um, they're saying it was an accident meeting. Now, obviously, that's not, that's not her mother. That's not an accident, although maybe, or maybe... She was, maybe Markle was an accident, 
um, wasn't a planned pregnancy. Uh, that could be a possibility. Um, it doesn't say meeting, it just says accident. So let's just move on to, because I was actually going to say um, that, you know, how eventually uh, Michael ended up meeting Darkus, but um, I don't believe in coincidences. So I would say, let's just go with that for now and let's see what the other cards are saying. They are saying think about it differently and that's where I... I change because as you go forward with these cards, you do get the energy slowly. They do slowly release because you do have to look into the cards to get the to get the story of these cards. They are oracles are a little bit different to tarot. They've got to check the timing. Now um, that timing may be that uh, Marco and Darkus knew each other before the 2011 because I did actually, I think it was 2011, let me just check. I think I said 2011. Um, I may, they may have known each other longer than that, but um, the internet is swept by both of these characters. Uh, so we do not, we do not know unless you go into the dark web, which I've got, I don't do. Uh, we will not know exactly. We only know what they want us to know. So I would say that Marcus and, oh, let's go Darkus, and um, uh, Markle, uh, they've known each other longer than what what is, is being put out on mainstream media. Again, I do refer to this to the Borg Queen. Resistance is slow process. So, um it's not resistance, it's resilience. But I do see, I do see this as as uh, complete dominance. Um, you know, basically coming into the group, it's a slow process uh, to dominate. Um, and there is a dark ritual here with the magician. That would be definitely Doria. We have had confirmation in previous readings. Um, she is very, very dark. Now, for those people, before I go any further, for those people that are worried, trust me when I say that kind of dark magic only works if you believe, okay? And there are really, really bad consequences if and when something happens anyway because karma comes back tenfold so it's not the kind of thing that you want to play around with um it can be expelled very very easy and very very fast but if someone believes generally believes like our indigenous people generally believes that that is a fact then something will happen Sorry about that. I've got incense burning in the background and it does make me cough, so I would have muted that. So without that lecture, please, um, just just seriously, I, I get a lot of comments and I worry. Um, just this, The classic example is Princess Anne does not believe in that. The cards have verified that offline and online. She does not believe in that. So there's, you know, it was just an accident at the end of the day, okay? Let's just get back to the reading. Um, tide and Restraint, Ring Master Organiser, uh, Group Involvement. Well, they're definitely a group involvement. Now we're going more and more into the resilient side of things. Resistance is, is futile, literally, unquote. Um, we've also got the Ring Master Organiser, uh, organizer, um, when we've got the check the timing, I'm getting darkest here. Okay, I'm getting darkest on this on this line of cards. Um, I do generally believe that uh, there's a heavily involvement here. The cards are uh, indicating towards that. Um, they're, they're saying think about it differently, and then tired and restraint. I would say that uh, this would be possibly uh, darling boy. Uh, think about it differently. I don't think it was an accident. I think it was planned, but I do think now that he is bound. I think he's um, 
I think he's got to the point where he doesn't realise, and I did actually do a reading before, uh, a bit like the Stockholm Syndrome kind of thing. Okay, now we've got a tarot card coming through. You've got the high process and you've got hidden knowledge and you've also got a missing piece. So um, there is a missing piece within this this threesome and I say threesome because you're talking the double D's and you're talking Markle or you're talking the double M's and you're talking Doria okay either way you've there's a missing piece and I think where they were going with that missing piece is the person that they have basically dominated they have be befriended married and so forth we've got the hidden knowledge here um I don't think for one moment that they're going to let Darling Boy out of their lovely little group that they have. Uh, he, he, this is not knows too much, but he has a secret about them. They also have a secret about him. So I think we're talking about a double-edged sword. And here we are. We have the D word. We have uh, alcohol uh, or blood. So what we're doing here with this card, and I don't say the word, I know a lot of YouTubers do, but I don't want to risk being strong. My, my channel is too small. <laughs> I'm just having fun here. You know, it's all entertainment um, and allegedly. And um, with this kind of card, basically we've got the substance abuse. Um, when we go back to the dark rituals, of course, you can refer to the blood. Uh, when you do certain things, you do have to do uh, use blood, you know, to make it more potent, so to speak. And um, I don't recommend it. I do not do it. And, um, yeah, let's just move on from that kind of thing. Again, if you don't believe in it, it can't harm you. I can't enforce that any any clearer, okay? So, please, I've had people on my, on my channel and DME me saying that they are worried, okay? So, please, do not believe in it and it can't harm you. It's basically as simple as that. And then if there is something, that person that's doing it will get whatever. It's a karma, okay? Um, we've got not involved, what have we got here? Not involved and unaware so this is this washing through here is me referring to where um harry knows something where darling boy knows something he wasn't involved in this in this nasty little threesome or shady little threesome however which way you want to look at it um i still don't think he's involved to be perfectly honest, uh, the cards are indicating that he's he's not involved per se with the definitely with the substance abuse. I think we, we probably could say that, but not with the rituals. I don't think he's involved in that. Um, I think he's only ever told what they think he needs to know on a need to know basis, and he will be used to that because that that's definitely a royal family thing anyway within the bubble. You've got a powerful person that is involved. Um, you've got something was seen. You've got inside inside job taken out. Now you've got another major arcana coming through, which is a narcissist, torture or rage, and that is the devil. Well, 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 where's the irony of that one? You've also got a distraction, not as it seems. So what this narcissist is doing, and we all know who that is, and um, I am referring to this one's wife, not this one, because Darling Boy is, is morphed into her, but we are reading... Um, and on the energies of the puppet master, um, I would even say that all three of them are narcissists. Okay, so you know uh, the double D's or the double M, either or, uh, they are all narcissists. Uh, they have horrible, horrible rage. You can see the the flames. They are puppet masters. Um, there is a, a powerful person involved, so there is someone that is in charge. Um, ironically, and this is probably something that 
I think she wouldn't like. I would say that Darkus is actually the ringmaster here because I'm getting a male energy come through for the powerful person involved. So I get Darkus being the ringleader. I do not get Markle being the ringleader. Um, yeah, someone, someone was seen, something was seen, an inside job taken out. There's a distraction, uh, not as it seems. Something has happened within them, and I think the distraction is um, being quiet, uh, going behind the scenes, like you know, doing that Homer Simpson thing where he just goes into the into the hedge kind of thing. They come out, but then they they literally shimmer back into that hedge and morph into it. Uh, I'm getting that kind of reading, and I'm giving those examples because I'm hoping that you can relate to what I'm saying. Because when I when I read these pictures, there is a lot of psychic involvement, there is a lot of energies, and they come through as pictures. So I'm trying to ex uh, give examples on exactly how I am getting the energies come through and uh, hopefully that will help you interpret because sometimes you know the words come out and it's it's yeah it could be a little bit confusing um I would say that Harry has uh seen something um uh I could say I could say that it's probably about time that yeah that he woke up and he made a phone call to MI6, I would say. Uh, I'm not liking these cards for him. Um, I think he knows something. He's seen something. I think that there could be a little bit of uh, a danger here. Um, someone that he trusts uh, with the um, high priestess coming through. Um Mm. Yeah, it's a distraction. It's a distraction. All right, okay. Um, not as it seems. Put in a room or a place. No, too much. Not want to talk. Yeah, yeah. Wrong direction. Drain or water away. And ending with death. So there's another major arcana coming through. Okay, so what I'm getting uh, with this nasty little group that we're talking about and what we're reading about is that um, Harry is is um, basically shoved in the corner with his um, with his you know Xbox or whatever. Um, now he does have his protector with him at all all times. I do believe that's that guy that we see all the time everywhere. Um, oh, uh, for the record too, um, those badges are just are, are security, but they're not uh, UK per se security. They are members of, um, you know, Secret Service or whatever. So it doesn't mean that. Uh, just because they're wearing the badge, it's more like a um, you know, like a, a reference to show people that yes, I've done, I've done certain, you know, in under investigations and secret service and whatever. Um, I've had a couple of people say that the the uh, monarchy and uh, UK taxpayers paid for that uh, Colombo thing. No, no, they didn't. Um, just because the badges look the same, uh, they're not the same. They are different colours as well. So I hope that also helps because I know there was a lot of UK people that weren't happy about uh, what was being said, which I don't know. It's just, yeah, social media stuff, I'm sure. Um, drain or walkway? Um, now, if that was water, I'd say it'd have something to do with yachts. Drain or walkway, wrong direction, no too much, and put in a room. So being distracted, it's not what it seems. Okay. I think, again, it's no too much, want to talk. It's Harry. It's darling boy. He will end up in going in the wrong direction or he has definitely gone in the wrong direction with this relationship um with with these three 
um, they are draining him. I'm not getting water away here, but what I am doing is getting uh, vampire draining energy. They are draining, literally draining his energy and it's not good for him. At the end of the day, we've got endings here. It's got to end whether... He, like I said, he walks away, he gets his MI6 person and, and, or his bodyguard and he says, hey, I, I need to go now. Um, I would recommend he does that. Seeing these kind of cards here, seeing what the ultimate is, is an ending anyway. Um, I, I really do, do believe that he needs to it, literally go. Like now. <laughs> So these people um, are ruthless. They are ruthless, absolutely ruthless. And he married one of them. He married one of them. Very, very scary. Very, very scary. They are behind the scenes. These cards are fantastic. Um, the amount of information that's come out of it um every single one of the cards um yeah the the wow just wow okay it's it's a little bit heavy so i'll probably finish with that please remember that all my readings are allegedly and entertainment purposes only um i found this extremely enlightening to find out what kind of people they are uh these cards are definitely um for this kind of thing um especially bearing in mind previous readings i've had on all of them all of them all three of them um yeah Douglas and and doyer and uh and the narcissist the devil at play so yeah on that note please let me know what you think in the comments please like share and subscribe and i'll see you again soon bye